I'm in my new house, and I got four of my key comics that I'm sending out to get graded. So if you want to know what they are, just stick around. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello everybody, what's going on? My name is Chris and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And today I am doing one of my first videos at my new home. Um, I wanted to first of all thank each and every one of you for the kind words about the situation with Luna. That was definitely hard. Um, I appreciate all the love, all the support, and the patience, so thank you for that. Uh, it was a difficult couple of days, and I'm still kind of feeling it, but I want to make sure you guys don't have to wait too long to see some videos. Uh, they'll be a little sporadic at first, but once I get a little bit more into it, and I'll let some time go by to heal, um, I'll be doing it more frequently. So I'm sure you guys and gals will understand, but I wanted to personally thank you all. The love and support was really helpful and definitely appreciated. So, especially if you're new to my channel, you may not know about this. I had made a deal with PGX. Um, I tried with the other companies, but they never responded. So PGX was the only one that did, where um, I made a deal with them that I do the little 10-second ad that you see in the beginning of this. And they allow me to have four comics sent every month to be graded. So um, I always pick some really good comics. I always talk about the prices. And hopefully it will help you to add to your personal collection. Um, I also made the deal with PGX where it will benefit you as well. Um, one of the things they are doing, and you have to request it right now because they're still um, kind of finagling with their labels, is... Because of my idea and suggestion, they are actually going to be doing graders notes that you could place on the back of the comics. Um, it's $5 per book. You got to make sure you specify if you want those and they will place them in for you. Now, also, there's another deal that I made that if you send in 10 books or more, you can use the code We Love Comics Free Press and it's in the description. Um, and you can get one of the books pressed for free. So make sure you add that if you send 10 books. Obviously, you don't have to, or even use PGX, but if you want to, there's some benefits for you. So the four books I'm going to send in, I always talk about them a little bit, what the significance is, uh, the price I paid, and what I'm guessing the prices, uh, I'm sorry, the grades will be, and then in about a month and a half, I get them back, and uh, we'll see how accurate I was. So I'm pretty decent with this. I usually get it within a either within the range or within a point or two, or actually a half a point or two. All right, so the first one is a modern book. Um, the next season of Rick and Morty is going to be coming out in any time now. Uh, this is Rick and Morty issue number one. This is the first print. Um, I think a pressing will help these kind of books. It has a little tick right there and a tiny one right there. So obviously this isn't going to be a 9.8. But I'll say it's about a 9.2 to a 9.6. You know, because even with 9.8s, they do allow a minor little uh, imperfection. Because remember, a 10 is perfect. 9.8 means there's still a minor, minor problem or two. So we'll get this one pressed and we'll see what happens. But this is definitely a book that's going to continue to rise now that there's going to be several seasons already confirmed with Rick and Morty. So if you're a Rick and Morty fan, once they get those seasons on a regular basis and they stay as good as they have been, uh, this is a book that potentially is going to continue to go up in one of the few modern books that has a lot of potential. But always remember there are risks involved, so there are no guarantees. But I paid $150 for this book, and of course that includes shipping and handling. Um, of course, this is a new book, so it will have white pages. So that's book number one. Book number two, I have several copies of these. I was buying them for a while. I keep recommending. This is a book that has so much potential. Uh, if you don't have this book, get it while you can, because this book is one of the few books that's going to be almost as a, close to a guarantee as you can to rise in value. Uh, this is so highly underrated, in my opinion, but I don't think it will stay that way once they have an official announcement. This, of course, is The Incredible Hulk issue number 180. Uh, this is the first cameo appearance of the uh, of Wolverine. Now it's only the last splash page at the well, the last page and little corner panel, but still, that's the first time you ever see Wolverine. 
Of course, the one that everybody wants is Hulk 181, but even a 0.5 is starting to get out of people's range. This is one even in lower grade most people still can afford. So me, like I've always said, low grade is better than no grade. So even if you can only afford a 0.5, please don't overpay, but get this book. Also, make sure it has the Marvel stamp in it. I have videos where I show the stamp, so check those out. Um, ask the person, even ask them to take a picture, but also don't assume that even if they show you a picture that the Marvel stamp is in there. You want to make sure you check what it is. And again, check my playlist under tips and advice uh, under and look for the video about the Marvel stamps if you don't know what I'm talking about. Because I had one time a person sold me a Hulk 180. They said it had the Marvel stamp. They took a picture of the Marvel stamp and I opened it up, and the Marvel stamp was not there. So don't assume, even if you see a picture, make sure you open the book and confirm that it's there, because that will decrease the value. Even though it's the, uh, literally the size of a regular stamp, it's going to be marked as incomplete. So that's very important. So I paid for this book $209.25. You're probably going to pay a lot more than that, but you can always ask for deals, wait for deals, check yard sales, you never know. Um, it does have a color breaking crease here that goes from here to here. Uh, a couple of little color breaking creases right there, but overall still looks pretty good, pretty presentable. I'm going to uh, predict after a pressing and dry cleaning, which I highly recommend you do with your books, no matter what company you use. I'm going to predict roughly about a 4.0 to a 5.0 and uh, off-white pages. So this book, like I said, um, there have been, uh, obviously Wolverine's going to be in a Marvel movie, but you know what happens once they make an official announcement. The first thing you're going to see is when they officially announce an actor to play the part, and then you're going to see prices rise. Then it's going to be a little lull at that point until you see a teaser trailer. That's going to make it go up even more. Then you're going to see the regular trailers and so on and so forth. And Marvel's track record's pretty darn good. I really think they're going to put a lot of effort into this. You're going to see Wolverine as a character that's not going to be one and done. So this book is going to continue to rise. So again, get that book if you can. All right, next up. I only had one copy of this book, but I paid a really good price for it a couple of years ago. This is another book you should add to your collection. This is Tomb of Dracula, issue number 10, first appearance of Blade. Um, obviously, with either a potential TV show or movie, they haven't confirmed which it is at this point. Um, this book is going to be pretty hot and pretty desirable. Uh, right now, it's been a little time lapse after the announcement, so there's a lull. Most people are not paying attention. That's the best time to grab books like this if you haven't gotten it already. Um, this one definitely needs a little pressing because there is a little indent here. That basically means somebody either stacked too many comics or laid it flat. And because this side's a little thicker with the staples, it leaves a little indent from the pressure of other comics. That's why I recommend not stacking them, you know, in this direction. But definitely don't overstuff your comic boxes because that will happen. But a pressing can fix that because it doesn't have a color break. A couple of minor color breaks along the spine. Nothing major going along here. That's probably because of the crease. But a pressing is going to dramatically improve this book. A little tiny color break there. But the book is complete. Staples are intact. Um, I paid $121 for this book. You're definitely going to be paying a lot more at this point for that book, but you never know if you find a deal. I think after a pressing and dry cleaning, I'd say roughly about a 4.5 to a 5.5 off-white to white pages. So definitely a book that still has potential. All right, and last but not least, we got a Golden Age book. This is a book I was selling on my website, which, by the way, I am still selling my uh, mystery boxes, and I am selling all the comics that are still on the website, uh, except for this one. I'm going to be taking it down because I'm getting it graded. So if you're interested in any of my comics, uh, go check the website. The link is in the description. Also, don't forget to sign up for the Cash Back program. Um, that's where it's free to sign up. The link is in the description. Uh, if you spend $25 or more within the first 90 days, you get a $10 cash back. And um, every now and then, because they switch it all the time, places like eBay, Amazon, and so many other places, you can buy comics or anything else, and you'll get cash back, and it helps. Plus, if you do sign up and buy, like I said, spend $25 or more within the first 90 days, um, I also get a one-time referral fee, so that helps me as well. So if you want to help my channel, it's, some, it's a way you can help, but also help yourself. So all the links are in the description, so check those all out. But this is a very key book. 
I cannot wait to get this graded. This is going to be a lower grade because it's got tape on the inside and everything, which I don't know why because this is intact inside. I don't know why they did that, but probably some kid did it, you know, decades ago, not thinking about it or thinking, oh, I'll prevent something from happening. But this is World's Finest Comics number two. Um, this is the first time the ongoing series was called World's Finest because issue number one was World's Best. So this is a key issue, and I mean, it just shows the difference between prices today and back then. This is a 96-page book, and it was selling for a whopping 15 cents back in the day. But um, definitely, if you can ever find this book, get it when you while well, you can, because it is a significant book. So even though it's issue number two, it's the first time the book was called, uh, called World's Finest, and it was that way till the end. So, as you can see here, formerly World's Best. So, this book is still intact. All the pages are there. Like I said, they put tape on both sides, so that is going to lower the grade. But they are a little bit more lenient when it comes to Golden Age books. Um, there's a tear right here. You can see there's some color break increases. Uh, this is the cover still pretty much intact because this is almost like a cardboard kind of cover on the front and back. So, that definitely protected it over the years. But um, still presents well, and um, this is one of those books that I wanted to get slabbed to protect it. Because not everything slabbed has to be something that's an investment. Sometimes you just want to protect them from the elements and, you know, from tearing even further. Because obviously comics are fragile. So I paid $420 for this book, and of course that includes shipping and handling. I'm going to predict roughly about a 2.5 to a 3.0 it may go as low as a two. I'm fine with that. Um, creamed off-white pages. So those are the four books I'm about to send out. Cannot wait to get them. I should be getting my other four books in the next couple of weeks. I'll have more videos coming. Um, if you appreciate what I do, if you'd be so kind to hit the thumbs up, I always appreciate that. Sharing it really helps my channel as well. Even if you're just sharing it, one of any of my videos and posting it on your social networks, the more help I can get from you guys, the more people I can help with comics because I have a lot of playlists that can help, especially the newer collector. And I have a lot of books that I can show even the most dedicated and uh, longest collecting of comic collectors may find something that they want to see. And sometimes we just like watching unboxings. So wait until the end to you, so you can see today's surprise subscriber shout out. If you want to be one, just hit the subscribe button. So thanks again for your patience. Thank you so much for your love and, and understanding and uh, the kindness towards the uh, recent um, bad situation we had. Uh, we miss Luna very much. We think about her every day and... Um, She's sorely going to be missed, but you guys definitely helped make it a little bit easier. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And don't forget, it is not you, it is not I, it's We Love Comics. I'll see you next video, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for watching my video. If you would like to sign up for the cash back program and get $10 back if you spend $25 or more within the first 90 days, just click on this link right here. If you're interested in any of my Marvel mystery boxes, you can click this link and just go all the way to the bottom, and you can order right there. If you'd like to join my Patreon account, it's right here. Facebook is right here. And mycomicshop.com if you'd like to order some comics from their store. Now, on to the surprise subscriber shout-out.